Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be doing our first ever no wrap ribs. I've been doing the 321 method for the last 3 years and I figured today I try the no wrap method. Now the rub of choice that we're going to be going today cuz I want this to come out perfect and delicious. We're going to be using Killer Hogs barbecue rub. You cannot go wrong with this rub. Many of you guys have been using this and you guys know what I'm talking about. And if you guys have not checked Killer Hogs, make sure you guys check that link in the description. You guys can go check out the webpage and get yourself one of these. Now, first thing we gotta do with these ribs is we gotta take out the membrane. So let's go ahead and flip them over. And with a little butter knife, we're gonna go and take out that membrane. We just need, I gotta go right where the bone is. Wiggle it in there. Just wiggle it in there. And then keep pushing up. Now that we have a little pocket here we can grab our towel and take it off just like that we're gonna do the same thing on the other one and we'll be back now that we took the membrane off we're gonna go ahead and add our mustard as a binder to hold this rub really well all you need is just just two lines not much and it will not give it a mustard taste don't worry about that and just go ahead and rub it all over the place. All right, let's go ahead and add our Killer Hogs barbecue rub and we're just gonna do a light, we're just gonna do a coat on the back. And then this side too, should get every part of it. Now we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, we'll be back when we do that. On the other side, same process, put your two lines. All right, let's go ahead and add our Killer Hogs back in there. Like I've said, can't go wrong with this rub. You wanna impress the people, wanna impress your family, you wanna make sure it comes out great, take out this rub, you will not fail. And just pat it in there. Just pat it. All right. Now that you, now that we added our Killer Hogs barbecue rub into our no wrap rib style that we're going to be doing today, we're going to have our Traeger grill at 225, and we're going to let it ride at that for about five, maybe six hours. So it'll probably take about two hours for the rub to really set in. Pretty much the way to know if the rub is set in, just uh, grab your finger, tap it. If there's no rub on your finger, the rub has set in nice and good. And now what we're going to do after the two hours is we're going to start spritzing it with apple juice every hour to keep it nice and moist. And so once again make sure you guys check out them links in the description if you haven't tried this i know you're gonna like it. that being said let's go ahead and fire up our trigger also we're gonna be using uh is our thermal pro all right our trigger is at 225 degrees so let's go ahead and add our ribs in here we're just gonna squeeze them together a little bit Nice color and everything. This looks beautiful. We'll be back in two hours to see where we're at and start spritzing. All right, it's been about almost three hours. And now you can, and there's not really any rub on your finger. So we're gonna spritz it every hour now. Just like that, we'll be back. All right, it's been a little over five hours. They look really good. Let's see where we're at. We're at 199. Let's take them out. All right, guys, so here we have it. And before we get into this, let's have a quick recap of what we did today. And before we cut it, make sure you guys check out this Killer Hogs barbecue rub. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go to the website and pick out of the many rubs there is. Especially this one is one of the top barbecue rubs that you will find. So make sure you guys check them out because I know you guys will like this. So let's get a cut. So this was a no wrap. I'm excited to get to see how it came out. All right guys, so look at that beauty. So this was our first no wrap 
ribs. So I'm excited to try it and see if it's better than the 321 method. Let's go for it. It's not bad. Man, that is delicious. There's just a light, little, tiny little pull to it. Very good. The only difference is to not fall off the bone. You know, a lot of people don't like that. This is really good. The rub helps it a lot. Um, having a really good rub is what's gonna make it or break it. Having this, you don't have to worry about that. You know it's gonna be delicious. Now this didn't have no barbecue sauce. I got some in the house, which I'll probably put once I'm done with here. Making me a plate, I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce. But man, this is really good. Make sure you guys check out the links in the description. Hope you guys like this video. This was the No Wrap Rib. You should hit that like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.